Yeah, dude, I was watching um, Tim Heidecker stuff from Tim and Eric. He has a, a like a yeah. video podcast, whatever. And man, it sucks how. Uh, yeah. Well, anyways, the connection is that you know he's a couple other people in the studio. Obviously, people he must spend a lot of time in close quarters with, and they're on the show wearing masks. And these are like clips from probably a year ago or something, you know. Yeah. But it was really annoying me, and you know, and it, it just sucks when somebody because I love so much of the stuff that he's done, and then I started watching his yeah. show where he like isn't in character and he's kind of loosened up, and yeah, he's one of those guys that's pretty avant garde too, and you're almost never sure when he's character or not sometimes. But sure. but I'm picking up that it's like. Man, his un- he's one of these annoying people with the fucking just obsession with disease and and, and yeah, that's my question now. It's annoying, like the like number, over the top yeah. liberal politics and shit. Well, but, um, so here's another thing, and I actually it, have a little video to, just, to go along with this. I got. I was just gonna yeah mention this thing because I want it to lead into a call in a minute because a buddy of mine went to see Roger Waters. Okay. Last night. Yeah, yeah. And I want him to just tell the story. If I I texted him, we'll see if he can. Sure. But it's it's about. When you have someone that you're a huge fan of, oh, yeah. and they're so annoying politically that yes. it just ruins it's, them yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I've had a few of <laughs> those actually I mean? over the like, last few years, dude. Yeah, for sure. The guy from uh, so this is a stupid thing, but my favorite band in high school, one of them was Cake. You know the band okay. Cake, and I went to see them a couple years ago with an old friend of mine. And the entire show, he kept doing stuff like saying shit that like was almost not even it didn't even make sense. Like it was like he somebody was smoking a cigar, and he's like. Oh, is that a c- cigar over there? Like, uh, you're smoking a cigar in a crowd of people? That's like some Donald Trump kind of shit. So <laughs> something like that. He's just like, you do whatever you want, right? Or whatever. Uh, and he I kept making, dude, he kept making like <laughs> anti white male uh. comments and stuff. And if anybody knows the band Cake, uh, I'm looking at, uh, he kept saying stuff like this. And yeah. the whole audience, every time he would do it, would be like, yeah, all right. Yeah. Just keep going. Just do your, your whole songs. Fucking, you know your what whole I mean? Like, crowd is nobody. The you're, same. It's this band Cake. If you don't know you're them, all, their entire audience yeah. is white and males. And they are all white. And they're all white males. Yeah. And their entire audience is basically white males. Probably yeah. From the, the those age are the like most like annoying people to me. Is the is the uh, <laughs> oh like the the white liberal like the super white fucking lefty kind of uh, oh white people. Am I right? It's like you're fucking stop it. You, your family, your friends, like you're all white. Shut the fuck up. Um, you're not gaining any. Cre- you're you're gaining like some sort of little social credit with a very, very select few. Dude, it was hilarious. The rest too. of the people think you're a fucking asshole. You know where this uh, sh- this show was too, and he was yeah, he was getting nowhere with the audience. No, this, how and could you? He, first of all, you're a nostalgia act at this point. Yeah. Nobody wants to hear the new case. Sing songs. the song we know. Right. Yeah. That's nobody it. cares about the new stuff. Yeah. Um, you're you're three years from playing carnivals, fuckhead. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. That was the vibe. Yeah. And also, dude, oh my god, that was a terrible show in a way because it was cool <laughs> to see some of my old favorite songs and whatever but it was like and this should be my friend max to tell us about the roger waters concert last night you're gonna like this um but so it was cool to see some of that but then they were doing stuff. just hold um, on one second they were doing stuff like extending the chorus six times Uh, while he's like okay now just this side of the audience and now just this and it was like yeah it was festival time for these guys you know and making all these political comments and everybody's just getting fucking uncomfortable and meanwhile the show is taking place it's a concert series that happens on a golf course in a town (laughs) for our international audience in a town called Evanston, Illinois. So you can imagine the scene there. Well that's exactly what Evanston is though. Couldn't be more wasp. It's a shitload of extremely wealthy white people yeah. that are like uh constantly um s- sort of like in in uh authentically uh self-effacing about wealth and they're always like begrudging other people's wealth and <laughs> you know, oh, somebody should. Do that. It's like, hey, dude, you're fucking loaded, loaded. Like, you have a mansion that costs so millions that's of dollars. Who, that's who the guy and in you're cake talking about. Yeah, is it's decides like, it's yeah, time it's to very preach annoying. his anti, um, yeah, white male views for some reason and anti Donald yeah. Trump. It's in, like, dude, I mean, well, it'll go over there. Though. Read the room. That's the people that. Yeah, I mean, it didn't seem to be. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying I could see why he would maybe think that. But yeah. Anyways, Anyways all right. Yeah. Hey, what's up, caller? You're on with Tom Vinny. What's going on? Is this man? Max? I don't know. Yeah. Hey Max, you went to the Robert, uh, Roger Waters, sorry, um, and what is that? Pink Floyd, right? Yes. That um, was Pink Floyd. So you went to the Roger Waters concert, um, 
And you were started to tell me earlier, and I kind of like didn't even want to hear too much because I just wanted you to tell all of our lovely listeners here on the show uh, kind of what the experience was like. So I've been a you know a big Pink Floyd fan since like I was a kid, and yeah, I've seen I have to. him a couple. Of, I've been I've seen him a couple of times. I saw him at the Tweeter Center do like Dark Side of the Moon all the way through, and it was at the United Center last night and I saw um, him in previous years like do like Pink Floyd the Wall like all the way through and it's like a it was like a one of the best shows I've been to honestly like huge production like um, you know like for just like you know like some of those songs like bring out like like a 30 uh, person choir and like you know what I mean yeah like, yeah, yeah, build yeah for sure stage and blow it up and lasers and, oh yeah no they're know. no yeah it's known for their, so, their stage shows great. anyways your expect your expectations are high <laughs> as i believe what you're saying here yeah. and now we probably want to get to the meat of the story <laughs> um, yeah yeah well i was trying to i was trying to set it up okay <laughs> we got it all right um so yeah those are my expectations like going in and it was just like a very kind of like weird energy in the crowd um and the like show was big like stadium, I was right? expecting it to be like political you know like he's a political guy and always been like, sure. very outspoken absolutely about his politics but it was like it was literally like the whole fucking show and like they hardly played any like pink floyd classics it was a bunch of like you know his solo stuff which was also like very politically charged and even yeah, just it's like just... getting yeah, but hold Sorry, on, let him because yeah, it's, yeah, it no, gets crazier. Ahead, hold yeah, on, yeah. yeah. So again, there's a weird energy in the crowd. <laughs> I went with my mother, so I was running like, like a couple of minutes late. I was like the next guy in line to get a drink, and I was like, "No, mom, I'll get you a cocktail. Like, you sit down and enjoy the show. Like, that's very you know, nice. This of was you. a gift to you. Like, you, you know. Okay. So just... I'm like a minute late or something like that. It's dark as fuck. <laughs> Like the first thing that happens, I have to use my um, my uh, light on my phone to like see the numbers on the seats because apparently the usher they didn't give him a flashlight. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I I'm using my flashlight and I uh, this guy's like you're trying to steal my fucking drink and I'm like dude I what? have two drinks in my other hand like. No, I'm trying to see what fucking road this is. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And I just keep moving. You know, I'm like, whatever. I don't want to argue with this guy. I'm just trying to see this show. And yeah. then I finally get to um, our seats, and it was, yeah, my mom, my brother, and my other friend. None ben, of this matters at all, though. <laughs> <laughs> Max, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, can you just get to the part where it's, you know, the, sh the he's ruined, polit you know, for you as a, as a fan politically? Yeah, it just sucked, man, but... I, um, I, like, parts of it didn't even make sense. Like, the, you're singing verses, you know, um, no, to but a song, wasn't there a whole, but you've got, like, fucking text, this is you what know, I like, a paragraph about, yeah. long, like, running, and it's like, am I supposed to fucking, am I supposed to read, you know, like, what yeah. happened in fucking Belarus or something, <laughs> or are we going to listen to the fucking song? But what, but you were telling me there was, yeah, like, a whole visual element with what, what kind of stuff was it, was it flashing the whole time? Yeah, like all sorts of shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like just like a lot of um, like political injustices that have been done to people, and it seemed like they're trying to get someone I don't know who it was like um, freed from prison and like all this like weird and shit. And it was like just, trans it, rights. It, it, and I thought stuff it was going to be a uh, rock show. Yeah, it it just was, like, there's a there's a place where I don't understand the uh, the the compulsion. I don't I don't know. I don't get it. I don't think most. But, well, first of all. Um, like the cake thing is different cake. Look, you're barely a band anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. shut up. Just, just do your thing. Just do your thing. I mean, fine. You know, but what, what but is don't so, belittle everyone, so, your whole entire crowd. Yeah. You know what I'm well, and also but this one, I could see that if it's like, I, now this kind of makes sense to me though. Cause Roger water, like Pink Floyd is uh, obviously a very, the whole fucking album. The wall is a complete political diatribe by them yeah. in, you know, in the form of like a, oh, for sure. uh, you know, uh, um, no, I understand. But it's, I think what he was describing to me earlier, he was talking about like all kinds of like slogans about like this rights and that rights yeah. the whole time and stuff. And I think what annoyed me about shit like that is like, 
that's not brave or revolutionary. No, it's just, yeah, it's it's just kind literally of, what everyone already yeah, thinks that's, for the most part. Of course. 90% of people. Yeah. And like, it's we're, like, yeah, we, we you agree. Agree. Let's, let's do the show. Yeah, dude, just <laughs> yeah. do your show. Yeah. Like, like I, I don't think Pink Floyd has a lot of like, you know, Nazis or, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, fucking, like who are you trying like, to convert? Who are you, yeah. What is yeah. it? What you, and yeah, that, I don't think there's a lot of uh, call for that. Like, you know, the, and like uh, Max, you were, you were saying too, he's like, he was telling me earlier, like, I don't even disagree with anything on the screen, but that's what but it's annoying yeah, but it's the like, shit dude, out of me, a dude. Like, show, though. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Like, if you're going to a fucking, like, a Rage Against the Machine show, I do understand that. Now, we've talked about this. It's like, well, now you're propping up one side of the machine and not the other. And that's you yeah, know, they, odd to me. Because, I lost my interest in that. Yeah, moment. it was like they were they were just against the government. Yeah. And now they're like. The, that's the way against, it seemed at one yeah, time. Yeah, at least it yeah. seemed like that. Um, now they're just kind of uh, against one part of the government where I'm like, hey, you kind of. You kind of lost your way, guys. Yeah, the whole thing's kind of uh, fucking evil, but whatever. Weird. Yeah. Um, but if you're going to a Rage Against the Machine concert, <laughs> I, I get. You know what I mean? He's always like Zach De La Rocha is pretty famous for, you know, his political rants and shit like that. Oh, so hey, um, Max, we're gonna let you go. We got another call coming in. All right, man. Well, thanks for the story. Unless that, you had uh, any other pressing thing to add. Hello. Uh, all right. Oh. One more thing that I thought was really funny before I go. Like okay. this is at a fucking stadium. <laughs> And, like, he had something about oh. no Coke, oh, okay. like no Coca-Cola or whatever. And it's like, I don't know, maybe they sell Pepsi products there. But it's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Wait, hold what on. What do? happened? Wait, what Sorry, happened? we were to... There was no... Like, it was like an anti, like, Coca-Cola thing. Oh. Like Why? What did Coke do? One point. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see what like you're an, and, and this yeah. is another thing. So this is... Okay, so I'll bring oh, it yeah, back Oh, yeah, because, to... you know, you know, Pepsi has um um a much cleaner track record. And yeah, then, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. PepsiCo. Like, Pepsi. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a great uh, corporation. Um, they fucking testing their flavors so, on fetuses to get their but reaction this is, at one I think point? this is one of the things that Why annoys not? most people about this type of shit. Unless you, uh, you know, unless they're saying exactly what you want to hear all the time, and which I don't even understand that point. We're but so trying, there's somebody we're in trying here. We're trying to do that. Yeah, so <laughs> hold on. But so there's uh, somebody back here, uh, Lisa, was like, uh, why so angry? And then Evanston does, haha, ironic. Now, this is the funny thing is that... Um, I she knows some people that I have done work for in Evanston and are like the nicest people. And so when I'm saying but this is the this is what I think is annoying is what we're talking about is these bands and yeah, Evanston is one of the weirdest fucking places that I've ever I lived there first of all and then it's just one of the weirdest places. It's, especially when I used to live there because it was such a, a tale of two cities kind of thing where it was like uh the abject poverty and then the absolute fucking, you know what I mean? Um, uh, wealth yeah. just right next to each other. It, it was I just, think, it was think, insane. I don't know how much abject poverty there is left over there, but they've kind of, no, re- yeah, it's a little bit more, it's become, I, yeah. I mean, if you go just South, but regardless, I think what annoys everyone about this is the Roger waters and like these giant, they're giant corporate. Like if you want to help so bad, Stop fucking yelling at everyone else to do shit and just do it. You are the bit. You have hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. If you really want this shit that you're saying, just put, just put your fucking money where your mouth is. They never. It's like, oh, a pittance here and a pittance there. And oh, I did this and I did that. I've played this show. But I think that's it's this always this moral grandstanding that's constantly happening with like certain uh, elements of celebrity you know, of Hollywood and, and of the music industry. And it just gets tiresome, man. It's yeah. just fucking tired, dude. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I would much rather not know my, you know, favorite band's politics at this point. I don't give a shit. Yeah. It's not what I'm going. <laughs> it's an escape. What the lyrics actually mean. Like, it's like, listen to the fucking song, you know? Yeah. At this point, we are so fucking inundated by politics and political divide. I, I don't need that. It's been in my old. movies, in it's, my dude, fucking album. None of it. It's been old for 20 years. It's yeah. been, oh, I mean, like. You're who, not progressing anything by putting these messages in, in these, in shoehorning them into these things. You're just not doing anything. You're, although. You're creating a divide more than you are. It just doesn't make any sense. You know me. why part of the reason it annoys us is because like there's no artist that ever agrees with us politically too. Yeah, there's so really no one on the right or left or, or like, yeah, yeah, I guess maybe. But because yeah, because <laughs> like 
<laughs> you, you know what I mean? And every time there's like a libertarian or like anarchist musician or something, yeah, it's some sort of anarcho capitalist, it's, it's just yeah, their gimmick don't... and it's all they talk <laughs> yeah, about. And and that's like, all they do. Okay, I would if you wrote good songs, I would put up with your brief political statements between <laughs> yeah. songs. But you but suck. I, but yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, oh, is Max still on the phone? Oh yeah, Max, are you still on the phone? <laughs> Because we didn't end up taking that other call. Yeah, we didn't. Because um, it was a very silly man. With <laughs> <laughs> He's on timeout. Yeah. He knows it. Um. Anyways, yeah. So anything else annoying happened there, or is that it? No. Oh, uh, yeah. What yeah, are you... I guess another annoying thing is, like, again, like, how, like, they had, like, just, like, so much, like, just, like, um, like, sayings and, like, you know, uh, like, on the, on the screen part of the show, it's, like, it annoyed me of the audience that, like, like it's like at one point it was like women's rights, equal <laughs> rights, trans rights, and okay, like and it what, was like that got yeah. a bigger applause I think than like any like musicianship this part is, of the yeah. show was like a couple. That's of so weird like that, that, that like, anyone likes yeah, this. Like it's yeah, yeah like it's just some, yeah. Go on. Sorry. Like, do you think really the people that fucking are going to this show are like going to be? You know, it's like of course, like yeah, we all want those things. Are cool. Be of that mindset. Yeah. Like, we're but, all good. Just, like, <laughs> yeah. on the back. I know. That's the thing. That's just a fucking weird signaling, like, of the... Yeah, I, I just... Uh, I don't know what it actually is. There's something in there, it's though. It's weird that artists, too, are so prone to that thing of... of yeah, of like in a way that is kind of talking down to your audience. It's like yeah, I knew it's this just guy. Pandering. There was this it's guy, pandering. um, straight up pandering. There was this guy, Schaefer the Dark Lord. You guys can look him up. He's a, um, a, like I guess like a nerd rapper. I got because I used to get put on like nerd rap shows because promoters like don't pay attention to anything. So yeah. They just saw like a white dude with glasses. Yeah, and you're yeah, and whatever, and assumed that I was gonna probably be rapping about Star Wars or whatever, you know. <laughs> and so and you get weren't thrown on these shows, but like. Uh, this one dude, Schaefer the Dark Lord, right? He he had this song, and he was like a bigger artist at the time, um, at least like bigger than like me and the people I was playing with, you know. And so I figured, okay, fine, I'll do this one. And this guy was such a fucking douchebag, first of all, in person. And the point is, he's like a super outspoken, like unreasonable liberal about every single thing, and yeah. condescending, insulting, yeah. everything. Yeah. And he had this song about how to not rape people and it was um and i wish we could play it no but it'll definitely get set off the thing but his whole song was about consent right yeah and it was like a step by step it was like one you do this two blah 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 and i couldn't put my finger on it and it, a bunch of people thought i was weird at the show because i was like what is this shit yeah, i was yeah, like yeah, yeah. something about this really pisses me off <laughs> and it made me look like a rapist yeah they're like, I, that's they're the like why do you hate the anti-rape song and i'm like, I'm like I, can't I don't think of how to articulate it yeah, yeah, yeah i realized yeah. later yeah. it's because are you assuming are you that all of your yeah that, we're that your all audience is rapists is, are rapists yeah. and needs to be instructed that's what i was like because so that's what in, it is enjoying that song if you're a non-rapist enjoying it what do you even call that uh, level of sort of just like yeah teach them how to not rape like what yeah do you, who do you what do you think you're doing when who are you helping with that? that's i don't what, understand it do you, you know you're not song, but i have a feeling that nirvana did it better like 30 years ago all right <laughs> yeah. all right anyways well thank you for the call man yeah yeah that sucks that you that. uh that sucks that you didn't uh, get to enjoy one of your favorite acts yeah that's annoying i'm sure you were able to see you know maybe get past it a little bit and have some fun um yeah but yeah, but yeah all right begrudging we gotta go we gotta all right man yeah, we gotta thank you shit. thank you for calling um oh, okay. you know i just i um, thought of something though because it is funny that that uh she came in at that point and it, what it is is what it annoys me about places like evanston where it's the like very very wealthy you know what i mean there's like athletes that live on that lake shore there's all kinds of and it's just i don't understand the it's like this guilt for being successful and i'm like dude you fucking made it you did this. You know what I'm saying? Like, Unless their wealth is generational. Maybe, but even that, it's like, okay, I didn't do something bad for this. No. I have a bunch of fucking money. You awesome. got lucky. <laughs> yeah, it's a lucky, yeah, even yeah. that, though. It's like, okay, why Why be, like, it does, it's never made any sense. Like, everyone is trying to get there. Anyone that, that rises out of poverty, that's where they're trying to get. And if they yeah. get there, they're like, fuck yeah! Right. And you're there going, oh, I can't believe I... We have all this money. It's like, dude, you do. And at the same time, it's like if you have it and you don't think that you deserve it, first of all, you do, I, I would think. But if you don't think you deserve it, fucking give it away. I don't know.